Have you ever just been standing there, minding your own business, talking to a camera on your deck, and there's these little floaty things that kind of get in your vision, and what are they? They're so distracting. Go away! Wow, there is literally an eagle flying right above my head. The wildlife out here is going crazy. Hey, if you see these lines or squiggles or threads or amoeba looking things or cobwebby, semi-transparent gray floaters in your vision, you are not alone. Millions upon millions of people see these things. They're especially easily visible against a blue sky or a white wall. I'm gonna show you where they occur by giving you a little anatomy lesson on that board over there at the end of the deck. Eye floaters occur inside the eyeball, in the vitreous specifically. The vitreous is the gel-like substance that occurs inside the eyeball. Right here, this is a schematic of the eyeball looking straight down, and inside the eyeball is the vitreous. Here's another representation of it. This is an eyeball. And this is just taking the top off of it. And this is the vitreous, this plastic ball thingy. That's the vitreous. The vitreous is mostly water, but it has some loose structure. And when we're young, it's taut and smooth and clear. But as we get older, it can start to clump up and become irregular. And those irregularities, those little clumps, are what give rise to floaters. Sunlight coming through your visual system, striking these irregularities, these clumps, cast shadows onto the back of your eye and project these floaters out into space. Most of the time, eye floaters are perfectly harmless. Annoying? Yes. Dangerous? No. Except for one scenario. The vitreous, like air, in a basketball or water in a water balloon is in perfectly flush contact with the inside of the globe. But the vitreous can collapse and peel away from the inside of the eyeball. When that happens, a whole bunch of new floaters will form all at once. And when that vitreous is peeling away from the retina, most of the time it does not involve it but it can, it can tear it and detach it. If that occurs, you'll see arcs of light or a curtain or shadow in your vision. If that occurs, then you'll wanna see an eye care professional right away. You need to get that retina checked out. All right, you've got floaters. Maybe you had a whole bunch of new floaters form all at once, but you've been to your eye doctor, she or he has determined that you do not have any retinal involvement. Now, what are we gonna do about all these floaters? Can they be treated? The answer is yes, but not unless they're really affecting your vision dramatically. What can be done is a laser can be aimed at the floaters and they can be broken up or kind of moved to the side so they're not on the central axis of your vision. The other procedure that can be done is have the entire vitreous just extracted from your eyeball. It's called a vitrectomy. But these procedures are usually not worth the risk, so we just let the floaters be. Will the floaters go away? Usually they do not. What will happen over time is that your brain will just get used to the floaters being there and get really good at ignoring them. It's called neuroadaptation. So as time goes on, you'll just see them less and less and less. However, as much as you try to ignore your eye floaters, you're gonna appreciate their presence from time to time, so you might as well give them names like I have. Hey, Joe. Sally. Sebastian, you, you owe me money. Do you have any eye floater stories, questions about eye floaters? Put them in the comments below. I'm here to answer them from regular questions to freakouts to anything in between. My name is Dr. Mike Vernon, and this channel is all about eyeballs.